So, what about free will? Almost certainly brains are causal machines, by which I mean that they go from state to state as a result of antecedent conditions. Any particular state, whether it's a perception of a face or whether it's a reflex to withdraw from pain, is a result of antecedent conditions. At least that seems to be true from everything we know so far in neurobiology. Everything we know at the level of the single neuron and what causes it to behave the way it does, the way neurons interact with each other to produce a complex macro effect, and the way that many levels of neurons interact with each other to produce a behavior. It's a causal machine. There does not appear to be, so far as we can tell at this stage, any non-causal Cartesian substance that intervenes and has an effect on the brain to produce an, uh, a change or a decision. It looks like there is only the physical brain. But of course, having said it's only a physical brain, don't sell it short. It's a remarkable, unique, unbelievably complex, and we're only just learning how complex, organ. <laughs>